sisters and brothers all. For me and my countrymen and Grenada, Caraco and P.D. Martinique, I stand here with mixed emotions. I'm proud to be celebrating the life of a Caribbean icon. It's sad to see the passing of a friend, a true friend of my country. I feel therefore a profound, profound sense of loss as we gather here today for the funeral of our late brother. A personal friend a friend of the new National Party and a friend of Grenada, Caraco, and P.T. Martinique. His entire life's work, friends, may have labeled him a Jamaican, but for the many of us elsewhere in the region, Eddie was a Caribbean man, a champion of regional integration movement and one who advocated for change to improve the process that unite us all. Sisters and brothers, my presence here today is not only as a regional head of state saying farewell to our dearly beloved brother, but I stand here as a Grenadian who is grateful for the bold and decisive actions of the late Edward Siaga in 1983, when my country was reeling from the effects of a political crisis. In that historical period, Eddie demonstrated what it was to be your brother's keeper. And as I stand here today to bid farewell to this courageous brother, I also say a final thank you to my friend. Thank you for your courage you displayed in supporting the intervention, invasion, whatever you want to call it, of Grenada in 1983. There may not have been a unanimous support for the course of action taken then, but I stand here today convinced that you are acting in Grenada's best interest and for that, we thank you. My fellow Grenadian politician and constitutional expert, Dr. Francis Alexis, who is here with us today, shares my sentiments. And I call into him and I quote, the late Edward Siaga took a position at a time when Grenada needed friends. Whatever the perspective one shares about what was happening in Grenada in October 1983, it was a challenging time in the country's history. It is difficult to visualize what might have happened has he not taken that stand. We should therefore feel a great sense of depth and gratitude to him for giving Grenada the opportunity to start all over again." Unquote. Back in 1984, Dr. Alexis was one of the leaders of the Grenada Democratic Movement, which later merged with three other political parties to become the new national party, which I now head today. As a member of the GDM then, I recall Eddie being very instrumental in the process. And it's by no means a coincidence, sisters and brothers, that the NMP, like the JLP, uses the color green. <laughs> I don't have a green shirt today, but the color green is important. This symbolizes the brotherhood we shared and continue to share with the JLP up to today. When parliamentary democracy was restored in Grenada, Eddie was one of the regional leaders who, who visited Grenada for the opening of the parliament. That closeness between Grenada and Jamaica continued for much of the 1980s 
and onwards. How many of you know that Grenada is even referred to as Little Jamaica and Jamaica as Big Grenada? Another Grenadian who engaged closely with Eddie during that period was Winston White, who was one of the leaders of the three other political parties, was invited during the 1980s to address a meeting of the JLP. Winston too believes that Eddie was, and I quote, a true West Indian stalwart. Personally, one of my fondest moments of Eddie was born in 1984. When I entered the political arena then, I looked to leaders like himself, the John Comptons and James Mitchell and others, who had the experience in the political stage. I was not to be disappointed and up to this day, I remain grateful for the words that Eddie shared with us and continue to share over the years. Edward Tiago, therefore, was regarded as a thinker, one who gave a deep consideration to political and social issues that not only affected Jamaica but the wider Caribbean. Politi party politics aside, he had the ability to transcend the geographic boundaries of Jamaica and see what was needed in the wider Caribbean. He was an advocate of social justice and he was a fearless in defense of positions that he believed in. Let us therefore ensure that his legacy lived on. When the new and emerging leaders seek guidance in the annals of history, they will no doubt reap valuable lessons, and I have done, from the life and times of Eddie Siaga. Eddie, if this is my fault now parting, I say once again how grateful I am and the people of Grenada uh, for your astute leadership and advice you shared. And I pray that God will grant you eternal peace. Farewell, my brother. All right, Honorable Keith Mitchell. And Dr. Keith Mitchell, the Prime Minister of Grenada and the former chairman of not just CARICOM, but the Caribbean Democrat Union, now lays his wreath in honor of Mr. Siaga. Mr. Mitchell has described Mr. Siaga as a dear friend. And you can see Lieutenant Senior Grade. COVID, COVA, um, providing aid camp services for Dr. Dion.